our purposes, one of the most interesting things about this new Audi A3 is happening right here in the dashboard. And that's what looks like a tablet toaster popping up out of the center of the dash. And one of the headlines about this car is the fact that it's got a 4G connection. Audi saying the first production vehicle to get a 4G connection that's coming out this year. And so it's using that 4G connection to get all this map data from Google and also these street view images and everything and they load really fast. You can search Google online for your POIs just by hitting the button on the steering wheel and going online search and then saying a restaurant name for example and that'll actually send off that request to the internet so that you can search for a much more update list of destinations than what you'll actually have built in into what I believe is 64 gigabytes of data. They also were telling us about the picture book navigation. This is sort of a novel feature where your friends can send you a photo of where they are and as long as that photo has GPS data embedded in it, you can actually receive that photo, load it to your car, and then that will become your destination. That Audi made their system very modular. They're trying to get away from the five to eight year product cycles that NVIDIA chip the whole system on a chip and it's on a board that just pops right out. The radio is on a board that just pops right out for the uh, LTE connection. So in two years, if they decide they want to jump up to Tegra 3 or Tegra 8 or whatever that we're using at that point, it's very easy for them to upgrade the system in this vehicle without re-engineering the entire car. So we're going to be seeing Audi moving a lot faster than they've already been moving 